Hi, I have in front of me here a, a, a head-end launch amplifier, okay? Now the purpose of this launch amplifier is twofold. The first thing is to strongly boost the signal coming from um, uh, this so it can be distributed up to about a hundred different TV points, okay? Now the gain on it, uh, the maximum gain that we can set uh, for each of the different inputs, each of which are, are controlled uh, independently, is between 32B dB and 39 dB. Okay. Um, now the, the second purpose that this fulfills is it actually combines um, four different inputs um, so they can be fed through a single cable. Okay. So just to give you an indication of what the inputs might be. The first one here we see is a UHF antenna uh, being fed in. Okay. And if we actually uh, look behind me here, we'll see that we have a UHF antenna here. So you can see an example of that. If we move on to the next input. It's an auxiliary UHF, so a second UHF input. So this is a great feature that you can combine two things that are in the UHF spectrum. And an example of what we'd use here would be a modulator that would normally be connected to, let's say, a CCTV uh, or a calving hammer or something like this. And you can integrate this in and combine the two signals together, okay? The next thing then would be a DAB um, or a VHF input here, okay? So I didn't want to open this box to demonstrate, but we, we stopped both DAB and VHF aerials here, and you can just see here, this is very typical of um, a DAB aerial that we would sell, okay? And then the final um, part of the jigsaw is that we can actually integrate an FM uh, radio into it, and if we look behind this here, we will uh, see here, okay? now. The reality is that this type of product is normally used in large uh, installations with hotels and things like this, but the price range on it is so low that it's actually very practical uh, for DIY or, um, or for home installations to use it as well. Okay, so what I'm going to um, uh, cover here is if we're trying to adjust the gain on this, we'd simply use a screwdriver like this, and as the arrow indicates, if we turn uh, in a clockwise manner, we're actually going to increase the gain. Now, how do you know how much you're after increasing this and things of this? Uh, and an interesting feature or, uh, of it would be that you would actually need something like a dB um, meter on it, okay? Now, I don't actually have one here to demonstrate things of this, but then you can actually check the, the dB strength of this. Now, each of the different outputs um, can be controlled independently. So, for instance, for the UHF here, um, you would have a, a max of around 100 dB, but for, um, in terms of the output launch, uh, dB level on it, but for the FM, things like this, it'd be lower, it'd be more like um, 85 uh, dB. And I'm not exact in the figures there, but it, it does come in the manual. Um, so we can see any of this great flexibility in it. So just a quick demonstration of where we'd actually use it. We see we have a radio here, or a television signal here that's coming directly from an aerial that we have on a roof outside. So if we're actually installing this, what we do is, I'll simply grab the power lead here, and I'll run it over, and I'll plug it in here, and we see instantaneously that the LED light comes on, so we know that's working. And what we'll do then is we'll come along and we take this aerial and we connect it to the input here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we do then is come along out the back and we're pushing this part here. And we can see here it's given a certain boost and we can adjust it as I said. But it wouldn't be for boosting the signal going directly to the near television. And indeed, if you actually look at the output on this, it's minus 30 dB output. So if you were testing this thing here and feeding it to a television, you'd actually have a significant dB drop initially and you'd want to have it because uh, what you want to ensure is that there's sufficient dB strength for the last television on the line rather than the one at the very start. So by dropping it 30 dB, which might be the aim of the maximum DB drop you're going to have over the entire length of the system and um, you can actually check that and say if I had a 30 dB drop this is the strength that I have on that particular monitor there okay uh, now something else that you could use it in combination with I'm just going to move this to the center of the picture here uh, we sell um, a um, Multi switches and a multi switch just quickly uh, is a situation where you have a quattro LMB on a satellite dish. You feed the, the four inputs in here, and you can feed uh, you feed a terrestrial signal in the, on this input here, and you can feed up to uh, eight on this particular model or another situation, sixteen televisions with both a satellite feed and a terrestrial aerial feed. Now, a very common problem with a lot of different um, multi switches I've tried is that the 
On the satellite part it'll work perfectly but on the terrestrial size the signal can be very very weak and it's ideal to use a, a launch amplifier like this in combination with this so it gives a significant uh, increase to the dB strength of the aerial going in and it, it's um, sufficient to overcome any losses that will suffer here and give a reasonable strength um, uh, signal uh, on the output side and once again um, this would be suitable both for uh, commercial use and also in certain um, uh, uh, home environments where we have a lot of televisions and uh, we, we want to combine the satellite and the uh, aerial into a single cable. Okay, well that's it beginning to end. An overview of the head-end launch amplifier.